I don't even know how I'm alive after that last episode. Especially after hearing Thorfinn's voice actor. Give that dude a Grammy and an Oscar. A Grammy for his voice and an Oscar for that performance. Because holy shit, that was legendary. I don't usually plug things, but I'm gonna plug this right into your asshole. So spread it wide, just for me. Patreon, I have one. I post full uncut reactions there. Meaning, you see the anime in its entirety. No blurred screen, no transparent screen. You can see the whole episode, my full reaction, even when I'm quiet. If you want a peaceful time, go check out my Patreon. It's like $3. All right, you little booger flickers. Let's get to the show. <laughs> I wouldn't be laughing. I would not be laughing. Y'all are making a big mistake by laughing, bro. Ain't nothing to laugh about. Literally, your only chance of winning any war just died. But now you have Thorfinn, so I take that back. Y'all done fucked up by being so useless. Oh. Already. I can barely trace a picture of Pikachu. And then you have things like this that exist. This is the beauty of the world to me, Art. Look at this shit, man. Oh, the music makes me want to come. Oh, bro, give the motherfucker water. Let him tackle a pig and let him eat it, please. Askelad, how about you ask him for water? This guy is an inc kid whatever is an incredible voice actor i swear to god man that's one way to escape do i even have to talk about the piano that was just playing dude look at this it's like a fucking oil painting like how does this exist man what's coming up to him thor's is thor's coming wow Okay, fuck what I'm about to say, man. Fuck, fuck what I'm about to say. Look at this. How can you not watch this show? Anybody that says this show is bad... I'm sorry, anime. Nick, don't say show. It's an anime. Anyone that says this anime is bad... You know what? Just, just, just go on top of a building. And yeah, yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Did he just blow a fart out of his ass? Oh, that was his stomach. Oh, shit. I thought that was... <laughs> Dude, that's outside my apartment. I'm about to say, I would have still kept reacting. That's the kind of person I am. I'm a piece of shit. Like, I'm doing my reaction. Shut the fuck up. I don't care if you're dying. A quick stop? I can't, I can't even do... How to? See, I understand doing this, but... Nah, I can't even try, man. I'm gonna make myself go dizzy. What What the fuck is that? Yeah, I'd ask him for help too, bro. He's like, there's two on the left and two on the right. He knows he can't do anything. <laughs> Bro, going from one punch man to this, it's like going from a candy store into a fucking prison cell. The way that he feels so helpless, like he's a little kid with his little sword, watching all of its destruction, his father just died. He wants to be like his father. He wants to adopt or, or, or just turn that, that, that weakness into strength. He feels like it was passed down with genetics. He wants to be just like his father. Now look at him. Oh, she is a chip on his shoulder, bro. And he has that Death Note chip. You know that? I'll take that chip and eat it. That's the kind of chip he has. He wants to do it so bad. With his little knife, the little kid. But he knows he can't. As much as he wants to do it. It's the brains of a shot. Nah, it's not gonna happen. If he kills him right now. You know what I'll do? I'll literally moon the camera. 
I'll pull my pants down and move the camera. <laughs> Thank God. That piano was proof that's not gonna happen. Wow. It's Wow, chills just went down my spine. They just invaded a village. He said it was a quick stop. This ain't a quick stop. This is like if I said I'm gonna do a quick run at the store and I went in a store and robbed it and I took everything. That's his father talking to him, telling him you should not kill him in his sleep. That's weak. He's like, challenge me 1v1. Fuck yeah, baby, 1v1. Swords only. <laughs> oh, don't show him. It's too soon, man. <laughs> All these motherfuckers laughing. Wait till he grows up and he comes back with a vengeance. Y'all are fucked. Oh, y'all laughing in the background. I cannot wait to see this kid grow up with his big boy sword. Come back and make a fucking pedestal with y'all heads. I cannot wait. Just one head on top of the other. Just pile them up and play Jenga with that shit. Throw rocks at it. <sighs> Bro, Askeladd admires him. He admired Thor's as well. <laughs> he's gonna take him under his wing. Oh my god. Look at him. Everyone else laughing, but he's taking it serious. He sees potential in this kid. He admires that strength. Not the weakness from his soldiers sitting there fucking making their stomach even bigger. I feel, I don't know, man. I feel something with Askeladd. He killed Thors. You would expect people to hate him. You'd expect me to hate him. But there's something about him. There's this mystery behind him, be, be, about him. He's interesting. He's an interesting character. He's an interesting lad. Get it? Asuka? Okay, fuck that. Bro, imagine you're buried like that. You're just kicked into the fucking grave. They don't lower your casket. They just kick your body. Wow. I cannot wait to see this motherfucker's head on a pike. Can't wait, bro. I'll bite that shit like a lollipop. As much as I love the rabbit, I want him to fucking murder and eat it. This is so sad. Imagine being a little kid like this. Put yourself in his shoes. Oh, man. This is Thor's living through his son right now. Bro, this is sad, man. What? <laughs> this girl... That plays his voice actor better have won awards. It's as if they actually starved the, the voice actor in real life and put her in a studio to do that. That's how real it sounded. Oh no, we're back home. Oh my god. Oh. Bro, hell no. Hell no. <gasps> Uh, it's right. She's probably dying inside, but she wants to remain strong. Like, they're gonna show her crying at some point. Ooh, that's gonna be a journey, bro. I wonder if they're gonna find Thorfinn before that time jump. Oh, that just confirmed it. They're gonna find him when he's a fucking a grown adult looking like with, with a big ass ponytail. Oh, she's dealing with this a different way. Like, I don't see her as being, like, like careless. Like, she's not like, oh, fuck him. Like, he's dead. He didn't do shit for me anyways. He left on a boat. Marry me. She's like, I am the man of the house now. Bro, what in the Jungle Book music is this right now? I love this shit. This is so wholesome, but I feel so bad for her. You could harpoon me. <laughs> oh shit, so you can take me, I'm available! Look at her taking all 
uh, of the problems onto herself. This is going to affect her so hard when she has an emotional moment. I have a feeling she's going to have like a breakdown at some point. Maybe not this episode, who knows, but definitely at some point she's just going to break down. Like, I have to be in charge now. Like, dad is gone, the kid is gone, she feels like the man of the house now. And her mother can't really do much. Like, she seems like a very traditional, old school caretaker, kind of. You know what I mean? Imagine that pressure. That your father and your and your little brother are gone, and now it's just you two. Oh, bro! Oh shit! I knew it. Oh fuck! I know that feeling too well. Yes, yes, you will. I feel like he's not gonna kill Askelad. There's gonna come a point where somehow they're gonna be friendly with each other. Kind of like a mentor through his pain. And Askeladd's gonna die some other way and it's gonna be a very emotional moment. I can see Askeladd definitely dying. But I feel like it won't be from Thorfinn's hands. Or sword for that matter. They'll come together somehow. And he'll feel sad. Why am I thinking that? I don't know. I'm putting myself in the anime <laughs> land. <laughs> Holy shit, he just dropped a diss track on the dead! <laughs> Outstanding. I wanna live there. I don't care if the village was just fucking destroyed, taken over. I wanna live here. You know he's still alive! Askala, don't ask that question! Hell yeah, man. I'm ready for a time jump, bro. Oh, tackle that bitch down and eat that. Limb from limb. Eat the hair if you have to. Uh oh. Is he offering himself? What is this, Wolf of Slut? Are they gonna be friends? Is it gonna talk? Bro, is this wolf a slut? Like, is he, he... What is he doing? What are you doing? Oh, shit. What a fucking idiot! I don't want to hear that sound! No! Run away! My heart just shattered. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. We're gonna see him with a mustache now? He's learning. Okay. Keep failing until you do it. Oh, this is beautiful. Askeladd. You asked for it. God, this orchestra. He's gonna get it now. Yeah! I feel like Askeladd did this for him. He's like, you know what? We're not gonna treat you like the other slaves, like the other captives we had. We're gonna throw you out in the wild and build you because we saw that, or he saw that potential in him. He's building a, a person even stronger than Thor's. See how that anger turned into motivation? He used that anger, that pain, towards his advantage. Look at him now! Walking with a purpose! Mm. Mm. Y'all ain't gonna be laughing for long. Ooh. They just keep dissing tracks. Just keep making diss tracks on Thorfinn. Thor's. Fuck, I keep mixing it up. It's like if I'm Nick and my dad was Nicholas. <laughs> Alright. Look. Yeah, Askeladd's like, oh shit. Look at him now. See that smile? He wasn't smiling last time. He was disgusted. Woo -hoo -hoo. Get back up. Come on. Last time he didn't get up. Shit. 
Shit. <laughs> that was the moment. Yeah. Uh -huh. He knows. He's like, this kid's different. Bro, that would have killed anybody else here. I was this close to saying best episode so far, but that last episode was it for me, man. That that was. Oh, this is different. This is like him becoming a man. Yeah. It's just like a boy. And ladies and gentlemen, that is peak storytelling right there. This is that that's as good as you're gonna get with storytelling. I love that shit. The father dies, instead of the son using that pain to bitch and bone and cry all day, he's gonna use that pain, that anger, that 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 suffering to become better. He's gonna use that as a tool to strengthen himself, to become a better man, to become a man. He became a man this episode. Just look at the beginning. <laughs> He was watching the rabbit. Yo, I gotta pick my nose again, man. Am I bleeding? No, okay, I'm good, I'm good. No, it's bleeding. But just look at him in the beginning. He couldn't kill the rabbit. He watched it run away. He didn't know what to do. By the end, he caught it. He raised that shit in the air like it was the belt. That's what I'm talking about. The wolf. He learned how to throw a knife. He learned. He, he's building himself up. He's learning how to do everything. That's how you're forged in fire, literally. Anyways, guys, what'd you think of the episode? Let me know down below, and if you haven't subscribed, I hate you. Goodbye.